Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I want to talk about to be verbs. In the last session, I talk about subject pronouns. As you may know, we have two different types of subject pronouns. The first one is singular, which is referring to I, I, you, she, he, it, person or object. And the second one is plural, which is referring to more than one person. Like, um, you, you more than two people. We and they. And today, I will show you how to use to be verbs. What is to be verbs and how you can use them easily. Okay, the question is, what's the meaning of to be verb? To be verb is the fundamental verb used to indicate the existence of an entity, person, object, or obstruction, or to relate an entity to its qualities or characteristics. In this session, we just learn about simple past and simple present. Of course, we have uh, past perfect, past perfect continuous, present perfect, present perfect continuous, and, uh, you know, continuous, simple continuous, and future. Because simple present and simple past are basics and very important. And if you learn them easily, you can, you actually know how to use them in a sentence. So, look at the table. This is a table. Well, we have uh, six different types of subject pronouns and six types of to-be verbs. For example, for first singular, you should use am for the simple present and was for the past. For example, I am a nurse or I'm a nurse. For example, a person may ask you, what is your job? And you could say, I'm a nurse or I am a nurse. Nursing is my job. Or for the simple past, I was tired. I was tired. I was tired yesterday. I was excited last night. For second singular, like you, you should use are for the present and were for the past. You are intelligent. You are intelligent. You are an uh, intelligent person. For the simple past, for example, you were late. You were late. You were late last night, you were late last week. The, the, one of the most important questions is what is the meaning of simple present and simple past? Simple present is an action which took, took place in the present. Like, uh, for example, routines, habits, or a job. For example, what's your routine job? My routine job is blah, blah, blah. And what's the meaning of simple past? Simple past is the action which took place in the past, in the specific time, like yesterday, last day, last night, last week, specific time. Okay, for third singular, like he, she, it, or names, for example, Nina, Alex, Mariam, is for a simple present and was for a simple past. She is the boss. She is the boss. It was a terrible movie. For example, I might say, uh, what was Titanic movie? You could say, 
it was a terrible movie or it was a beautiful movie, it was an amazing movie. For first plural, like we, the you and they, we, you and they, we should use are for present and were for the past. For example, we are the same age. We are the same age. We were bored yesterday. We were bored yesterday or we were sleepy yesterday or something like that. You are a student. You are a student. For example, what's your position? We are a student. Or for example, hey mom, they are a student. You were at the party last night. You were at the party last night. They are patients in the hospital. What are they? Who are they? They are patients in a hospital. They were in a bad situation. They were in a bad situation. They were in the bad situation last night or uh, yesterday uh, weekend uh, last week I mean okay I hope you now you learn what is to be wear and how you can use them you can make different sentences with to be wear and subject pronouns if you have a question just comment below this video Okay, in the next session, I will teach you demonstrative pronouns. Thanks for watching my videos. Please subscribe my YouTube channel, turn on notification alarm, and like my videos. I see you soon. Bye-bye.